Okay, how much does weight affect you in go-karting? Can you still be fast if you're heavy when it comes to karting? In this video, you're going to find out because this is a championship race and I am about 30 kilograms heavier than the guy to the left of me here. This is a pretty incredible race to watch because I am so... I'm the heaviest driver in this race and I'm going to show you what I do as a heavy driver. It's kind of weird for me to say because I used to race this track when I was the lightest driver and now I'm the heaviest driver. So you see the guy ahead of me there. He is a lightweight driver. I think he might be leading the lightweight championship. I'm a heavyweight carter. I, last season I won the heavyweight championship here. And yes, Lewis Hamilton is going to feature in this video and he's going to make a very important point, which I want to let you know about. But we're talking about karting, how to be fast. Does weight make a difference? We're going to look at the speed down the straight. You see I've got all the telemetry. As there's a bit of a bumper um, carts here, people waving each other through like it's Sunday morning, which it was. And you can see that some drivers are going to have armbands on. See the guy behind me there in the rear view. Both of them, they have armbands on as they don't sort themselves out before they come. Oh, one of them's almost in the wall. You love to see it. And we're already now in P4. By the way, we're starting in first place because it was a random grid for this race. And it was the final round of a championship. I won the previous championship. So I thought I'd come down and just see how fun it is. Now here's Lewis Hamilton already in the Ferrari gear. Don't believe me? Then wait for a few seconds and you'll see. And that driver there, he actually won, I believe, the lightweight championship when I was winning in heavyweights. So it's incredible to see kind of like how the weights change and people weigh up and weigh down and something I've got to think about. But here he goes through here and you can see there it is, Lewis Hamilton confirmed. So we know they are a lighter driver than us. They're also, I think, generally a better driver than us, by the way. I think he's a better card than me. But we're going to have a look at the lines and also what I'm going to do. Because if you haven't noticed it yet, if you look up in the rear view mirror, you will see the mother of all trains. Yes, it's the Kirith Kart train here in karting. By the way, so good to have karting back on the main channel. If you like these karting videos, definitely do not forget the opportunity to subscribe to my motorsport channel. Link in the description. That's where I'm uploading all my karting championship videos. So if you like karting, subscribe there. Subscribe here, leave a comment if you like this sort of stuff. Now here's a pretty key factor for weight and karting which is the straight and you can see the speedometer in the bottom right. It's from GPS so it's not 100% up to date always but it does get pretty accurate at top speed. So 46 miles an hour there is going to be a really good benchmark. You can see that was my best sector to date actually in this race. Sector 2 there, I've got the sector times up as well on the left hand side. And does weight slow you down in karting? Can you be a fast carter if you're heavier? Well, have a look at all the carts behind me because if you're a bigger gentleman or lady, and I'm not even sure I am a bigger gentleman or lady, I think I'm just racing against a lot of really fit individuals here and I need to get my weight down. I need to be, be fitter and leaner basically as well. But it's not going to be all the right way. If you look at the guy behind me, I think in cart 23, obviously I think a younger carter, you can see the way they're holding the wheel and therefore going to be a lot lighter. They're going to be, I think, probably even trying to weigh up to the lightweight weight of 60 kg. And you can see he's trying to go around the inside, but I know I can brake later here because as a heavyweight carter, I know I'm going to be really effective on the brakes. When I hit the brake, I'm going to be getting maximum traction on those tyres. And when I turn the car in, I'm also going to be getting big traction on the outside tyres as well. And this corner here, we're going to come back to later in the video because when you look at my cornering speed through there, and compare it to some of the lightweights, it's a very interesting tale. So right now in this race, I believe we're about, are we P5 or 6? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're P6 in this race with about probably 25, 30 carters in it. So we're doing pretty well for a heavyweight. As someone comes up the inside and I notice this. Now they might also be a heavyweight. Did they have the armband there? Maybe not. But I noticed that they were able to get up the inside there. And once they have a car up the inside, there's no way I can defend going into this corner. So I knew that if I want to keep people behind me, and some people will go, oh, you're not racing against the lightweight, you just don't defend against them. I don't care. I'm here to race. I pay my good money, and I just want to race, and I'll race everyone equally. I'm not going to discriminate against anyone. If you're on track, I'm going to race you. And uh, I realised there that what I can't do is allow my weight to be a big disadvantage on the straight, because that is going to be the biggest disadvantage some areas it's going to be an advantage and uh, we'll have a look here, he drives a couple inside this guy but I have so much traction through the hairpin, I actually think I'm at an advantage in the hairpin and especially in wet conditions 
I think in this corner especially it's very slidey in wet conditions you'll see in the videos on my motorsport channel now you see in the fast corner here I keep it so tight up the inside I'm not going to allow someone if possible to get up the right hand side of me here so keep it very defensive the guy behind doesn't really know what to do that's going to bunch it all up behind as well and they all you know basically take each other out so it's a case of if I really want to because right now I think I would be on the podium in heavyweights in fact I'm not sure that many heavyweights have overtaken me I, c I could even be leading the, in the race in heavyweights I'm not sure but if I want to maintain that I have to keep people behind me once people go in this race the lightweights I'm not going to be able to catch them they are going to in qualifying conditions lap faster than me they're just lighter it means the power to weight ratio of their carts is better they're going to reach a higher um, they're going to get to the top speed quicker on the straight or reach a higher top speed they're going to be able to take a line through here in the race that's not compromised i'm compromising my line really leaning on the outside tire there to grip it and i'm going to hug the inside try not to let someone go and you can see here then i come across at the last moment i am surprised by the way i'm i'm quite oh well today in this race I was a very aggressive carter and to be honest I was very surprised that people didn't seem to be equally as aggressive with me. I don't know if that's because I'm sort of like an experienced grumpy weathered carter now and I will just send it at every opportunity as you're going to see in this video when it does all kick off because we're already on lap 5 and that by the way was our fastest lap so far a 52.3 but I can let you know that there's a guy in this race called Jack O'Neill who I've raced in Club 100 many 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 times raced him in club 100 and he's absolutely dominated me in club 100 again as a lightweight and i've been a, been a heavy and he was going around in sub 51 seconds which is very 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 quick i think most lightweights good lightweight doing sort of like mid 51s so at the moment we've done a sort of low to mid 52 but just to let you know what's going on lap times so by the way i hope you like the overlays we got up here paid for some different software this time to get the overlays up for you I'm feeling so good about having karting back on the channel because it's a really interesting example to show you of that weight remember i'm probably 30 kgs heavier i'm almost certainly 30 kgs heavier than the guy behind us just want to reiterate that that's what it comes down to is you can look up the inside are we going to be able to defend no not this time maybe i locked up i think actually i might there have actually just locked it a little bit i'm not sure it looked like we got a tap if i remember I remember thinking, oh, I'll just squeeze the brake a little bit too hard because I'm trying to be on the limit here. And that lets two drivers through, and that's going to let the pack behind know that they can get through as well. This guy taps his head, not sure what he's doing. Is he confirming that the camera's on? Wasn't able to interpret that. And I leave a gap up the inside here. And again, oh, someone's going to try and get through. Club 100 um, helmet visor here. So there's a lot of really fast carters in uh, Daytona which is why I'm racing these days. But it's not a sponsored video. I've never done things sponsored with Daytona. I just turn up and I'll let you know how it is honestly. Sometimes it's terrible and sometimes it's really good. And this was a really good day. Um, felt like the cart was, was pretty good. See the front bumpers flapping around a bit. Now this guy really wants to get through. Another bit of contact there. I'm able to defend. And you can see them all really queuing up behind it. Very much as a train. That corner there is a weak spot. So again, because of my weight, because I know hopefully this is making sense to you especially if you're like a junior carter and trying to work out what weight difference it makes it's, it's going to hurt us down the straight here so i'm trying to work the lap backwards oh now one goes through it's going to be an absolute train here i suspect can i try and get through though hold it on the outside see i'm racing hard and uh oh no 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 a few pe more people come through and looks like a lot of lightweights especially well, there is a heavyweight now on the right hand side this is a heavyweight here in fact i think that might be the guy who's winning the championship so he probably doesn't want to, me to hold him up but like i said just race absolutely everyone he's looking a bit frustrated behind and maybe a possibility if i can get a position back here if they're going to fight then it's sort of attack is the best form of defense but now you're going to see it's amazing how i was able to hold everyone off for so long but now the floodgates have really opened there are still a load of carts behind i'm not quite sure how we're ahead of so many so many carts behind but we are um but we've been able to sort of get this far and it was a mistake i believe when i did that slight lock up at the hairpin just went a bit deep and once one driver goes through it, it's like to be a few but these are heavyweights maybe here we can 
try and fight our way back. I'm not as um, smooth as I was, or smooth not the word, I, I think I was trying to drive quite smooth here, but I'm not quite as up to speed as I was when I won my championship. I'm definitely getting back into it and I was really enjoying this race. And you can see here the guy ahead of us is definitely heavyweight with that armband. Oh, someone's decided to take a one-way trip to the barrier there. Unusual strap, but fair play. And we'll see what line he takes through here. So you can see the ideal line is to come in a bit wider. He actually never, never really... Oh, he hits an apex very late there. So letting the speed build. Obviously, I, I felt like I didn't really have that luxury because um, I, I felt if I was going to go too wide there, people wouldn't come to the inside. And they've slowed down here. Someone again on my outside here. Remember, these guys are fighting for the championship in their categories. Oh, and you can see, again, if you're a heavyweight and you really slide the car, you are going to struggle. And that's the, the race here. So we finished just behind the championship leader, albeit we did start quite high up the grid. And what I would say is, if you're a heavier carter, you just have to adjust your driving styles. Remember, you're going to be more vulnerable in the straights. So you might need to compromise your line through the corners, but you can defend, and it's a different sort of racing. Really hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you did. Please subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next video.